Good morning, dear students. From chapter 8, we shall go through two stories about nature love. It is page number 59. The first story is about a tree which is located in the middle of the dry land. It gave rest and shelter to hundreds and thousands of travelers. One day two travelers were traveling from a distant place and they were very exhausted. They were very happy to see such a big tree with breezing wind and decided to take rest under the tree. They slept for some time happily enjoying the soothing cool breeze of the tree. When they got up, they felt hungry and one of the traveler decided to climb the branches to see whether the tree has any fruit. The tree was not a fruit bearing tree and so the traveler was disappointed. And he started cursing the tree. Hearing the cursing words, the tree was upset and he said in a sad but strong voice, You can't be so ungrateful to me. Just look back at the condition when you reached here and in the hot and dry sun. I offered you cool and comfortable place to rest and sleep with soothing breeze. If I am not here when you were very tired, you would have died now. I saved your life from the hot sun, but you humiliate me. The traveler realized his mistake and apologized to the tree. The moral of the story is, every creating of God has innumerable benefits to the mankind. There is good in everything and we often fail to notice the good. The second story is about a boy who enjoys the beauty of nature in everything. When he saw a rose, he tried to pluck uh, the rose, but a thorn pierced his finger. It was very painful. The boy started crying and ran to his house. His mother was asking him, what is the matter? Why are you crying? The boy said, the thorn of the rose pierced my ear uh, finger while I was plucking it and now I feel severe pain. His mother said, it is your mistake. You should not have tried to pluck the flower. The flowers are meant to be seen and not to be plucked. Besides, natural beauty should never be harmed. One should not interfere with the natural processes. Instead, we should help to maintain the nature. The son said, I will always follow what you have. Just told me, Mama. The mother said, Let me now know what you have learned today. Her son explained, We should protect all living beings, whether animals or plants. We should never harm them. Unnecessary interference with nature is harmful. It may harm the human beings in the long run. So these are the two stories that uh, tell us why should we love nature. I have um, added some extra questions as in the PDF, in the PDF file. Just go through it. It is very important from exam point of view. Write the questions in your modern science copy and submit to me in the evening.